In mathematical analysis, the smoothness of a function is a property measured by the number of derivatives it has that are continuous. A smooth function is a function that has derivatives of all orders everywhere in its domain. Topic: Differentiability classes. Differentiability class is a classification of functions according to the properties of their derivatives. Higher order differentiability classes correspond to the existence of more derivatives. Consider an open set on the real line and a function f defined on that set with real values. Let k be a non-negative integer. The function f is said to be of differentiability class ck if the derivatives f, f, fk exist and are continuous the continuity is implied by differentiability for all the derivatives except for fk the function f is said to be of class c infinity or smooth if it has derivatives of all orders the function f is said to be of class c omega or analytic if f is smooth and if its taylor series expansion around any point in its domain converges to the function in some neighborhood of the point C omega is thus strictly contained in C infinity. Bump functions are examples of functions in C infinity but not in C omega. To put it differently, the class C o consists of all continuous functions. The class C1 consists of all differentiable functions whose derivative is continuous. Such functions are called continuously differentiable. Thus, a C1 function is exactly a function whose derivative exists and is of class C0. In general, the classes CK can be defined recursively by declaring C0 to be the set of all continuous functions and declaring CK for any positive integer k to be the set of all differentiable functions whose derivative is in CK1. In particular, CK is contained in CK1 for every K, and there are examples to show that this containment is strict CK CK1. C infinity, the class of infinitely differentiable functions, is the intersection of the sets CK as K varies over the non-negative integers i.e. from zero to infinity. Topic examples the function f x equals x if x 0 0 if x 0 display style f x equals begin cases x and m box if x g q 0 0 and text if x is continuous but not differentiable at x equals 0 so it is of class c o but not of class c 1 the function g x equals x two sin one x if x does not equal zero zero if x equals zero display style g x equals begin cases x caret two sin tfrac one x and text if x neq zero zero and text if x equals zero end cases is differentiable with derivative g x equals minus cos one x plus two x sin one x if x does not equal 0, 0 if x equals 0. Display style g x equals begin cases method cos tfrac 1 x plus 2 x sin tfrac 1 x and text if x neq 0 0 and text if x equals 0 end cases because cos 1 x display style cos 1 x oscillates as x 0 g x display style g x is not continuous at 0. Therefore, g x display style g x is differentiable but not of class c one. Moreover, if one takes g x equals by four thirds sin one x display style g x equals x caret four thirds sin one x x does not equal zero. In this example, it can be used to show that the derivative function of a differentiable function can be unbounded on a compact set, and therefore that a differentiable function on a compact set may not be locally Lipschitz continuous. The functions. F x equals x k plus one display style f x equals x caret k plus one, 
where k is even, a continuous and k times differentiable at all x. But at x equals 0 they are not k plus 1 times differentiable, so they are of class Ck but not of class Cj where j greater than k. The exponential function is analytic, so, of class C omega. The trigonometric functions are also analytic wherever they are defined. The function f x equals e minus one one minus x two if x one zero otherwise display style f x equals begin cases e caret frac one one x caret two and text if x is smooth so of class C infinity but it is not analytic at x equals plus or minus one so it is not of class C omega. The function f is an example of a smooth function with compact support. Equals. Topic: Multivariate differentiability classes. Equals. A function. F. U. R. N. R. Display style f u subset math b b r caret n to math b b r defined on an open set u display style u of r n display style math b b r caret n is said to be of class C k display style c caret k on u display style u for k display style k a positive integer if all partial derivatives alpha f x 1 alpha 1 x 2 alpha 2 x n alpha n y 1 y 2 y n Display style frac partial carrot alpha f partial x underscore one carrot alpha underscore one partial x underscore two carrot alpha underscore two c dots partial x underscore n carrot alpha underscore n y underscore one y underscore two l dots y underscore n exist and are continuous for every alpha one alpha Two alpha n display style alpha underscore one alpha underscore two l dots alpha underscore n non-negative integers such that alpha equals alpha one plus alpha two plus plus alpha N K Display style alpha equals alpha underscore one plus alpha underscore two plus C dots plus alpha underscore N L E Q K and every Y one Y two Y N element of U Display style y underscore one y underscore two l dots y underscore n in u. The function f display style f is said to be of class C display style C or C zero display style C caret zero if it is continuous on U display style U a function f U R N R M display style f U subset math b b r caret n to math b b r caret m 
defined on an open set u display style u of r n display style math bb r caret n is said to be of class c k display style c caret k on u display style u for k display style k a positive integer if all of its components f i x 1 x 2 x n equals pi i f x 1 x 2 x n equals pi i f x 1 x 2 x n for i equals 1 2 3 m Display style F underscore I x underscore one x underscore two L dots x underscore N equals pi underscore I circ F x underscore one x underscore two L dots x underscore N equals pi underscore I F x underscore one x underscore two L dots x underscore N text for I equals one two three L dots M are of class C K display style C carrot K where pi I display style pi underscore I are the natural projections pi I R M R Display style pi underscore i math b b r caret m two math b b r defined by pi i x one x two x m equals x i Display style pi underscore i x underscore one x underscore two l dots x underscore m equals x underscore i. It is said to be of class C. Display style C or C zero. Display style C caret zero. If it is continuous, or equivalently, if all components f I display style f underscore i a continuous on u display style u topic the space of ck functions let d be an open subset of the real line. The set of all CK functions defined on D and taking real values is a Frechet vector space with the countable family of seminorms P K M equals sub X element of K F M X Display style p underscore k m equals sup underscore x in k left f caret m x right, where k varies over an increasing sequence of compact sets whose union is d, and m equals zero one k. The set of C infinity functions over d also forms a Frechet space. One uses the same seminorms as above, except that m is allowed to range over all non-negative integer values. 
The above spaces occur naturally in applications where functions having derivatives of certain orders are necessary, however, particularly in the study of partial differential equations, it can sometimes be more fruitful to work instead with the Sobolev spaces. Topic. Parametric continuity The terms parametric continuity and geometric continuity GN were introduced by Barsky to show that the smoothness of a curve could be measured by removing restrictions on the speed with which the parameter traces out the curve. Parametric continuity is a concept applied to parametric curves describing the smoothness of the parameter's value with distance along the curve. Topic: Definition the parametric curve S zero one R N display style S zero one two Math BB R carrot N is said to be of class C K if D K S D T K Display style, display style, frac d carrot k s d t carrot k exists and is continuous on zero one. Display style zero one, where derivatives at the endpoints zero one element of zero one. Display style zero one in zero one air taken to be one sided derivatives at zero display style zero from the right and at one display style one from the left. As an example of a practical application of this concept, a curve describing the motion of an object with a parameter of time, must have C1 continuity for the object to have finite acceleration. For smoother motion, such as that of a camera's path while making a film, higher orders of parametric continuity are required. Topic. Order of continuity. The various order of parametric continuity can be described as follows CO – curves are continuous C1 – first derivatives are continuous C2 – first and second derivatives are continuous CN – first through NTH derivatives are continuous Geometric continuity The concept of geometrical or geometric continuity was primarily applied to the conic sections and related shapes by mathematicians such as Leibniz, Kepler, and Poncelet. The concept was an early attempt at describing, through geometry rather than algebra, the concept of continuity as expressed through a parametric function. The basic idea behind geometric continuity was that the five conic sections were really five different versions of the same shape. An ellipse tends to a circle as the eccentricity approaches zero, or to a parabola as it approaches one, and a hyperbola tends to a parabola as the eccentricity drops toward one, it can also tend to intersecting lines. Thus, there was continuity between the conic sections. These ideas led to other concepts of continuity. For instance, if a circle and a straight line were two expressions of the same shape, perhaps a line could be thought of as a circle of infinite radius. For such to be the case, one would have to make the line closed by allowing the point x. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Infinity to be a point on the circle and for x plus infinity and x equals minus infinity to be identical. Such ideas were useful in crafting the modern, algebraically defined, idea of the continuity of a function and of infinity. Equals. <laughs> 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 Topic. 
Smoothness of curves and surfaces equals A curve or surface can be described as having gn continuity, n being the increasing measure of smoothness. Consider the segments either side of a point on a curve g0, the curves touch at the join point. g1, the curves also share a common tangent direction at the join point. G2, the curves also share a common center of curvature at the join point. In general, Gn continuity exists if the curves can be reparameterized to have Cn parametric continuity. A reparametrization of the curve is geometrically identical to the original, only the parameter is affected. Equivalently, two vector functions f t and g t have g n continuity if f n t does not equal zero and f n t kilogram n t for a scalar k greater than zero, i.e., if the direction, but not necessarily the magnitude, of the two vectors is equal. While it may be obvious that a curve would require G1 continuity to appear smooth, for good aesthetics, such as those aspired to in architecture and sports car design, higher levels of geometric continuity are required. For example, reflections in a car body will not appear smooth unless the body has G2 continuity. A rounded rectangle with 90 degree circular arcs at the four corners has G1 continuity, but does not have G2 continuity. The same is true for a rounded cube, with octants of a sphere at its corners and quarter cylinders along its edges. If an editable curve with G2 continuity is required, then cubic splines are typically chosen. These curves are frequently used in industrial design. Topic. Smoothness of piecewise defined curves and surfaces Topic. Other concepts Topic. Relation to analyticity While all analytic functions are smooth, i.e. have all derivatives continuous on the set on which they are analytic, examples such as bump functions mentioned above show that the converse is not true for functions on the reals. There exist smooth real functions that are not analytic. Simple examples of functions that are smooth but not analytic at any point can be made by means of Fourier series. Another example is the Fabius function. Although it might seem that such functions are the exception rather than the rule, it turns out that the analytic functions are scattered very thinly among the smooth ones. More rigorously, the analytic functions form a meager subset of the smooth functions. Furthermore, for every open subset of the real line, there exist smooth functions that are analytic on A and nowhere else. It is useful to compare the situation to that of the ubiquity of transcendental numbers on the real line. Both on the real line and the set of smooth functions, the examples we come up with at first thought algebraic, rational numbers and analytic functions are far better behaved than the majority of cases. The transcendental numbers and nowhere analytic functions have full measure, their complements are meager. The situation thus described is in marked contrast to complex differentiable functions. If a complex function is differentiable just once on an open set, it is both infinitely differentiable and analytic on that set. Topic smooth partitions of unity Smooth functions with given closed support are used in the construction of smooth partitions of unity, see partition of unity and topology glossary. These are essential in the study of smooth manifolds, for example to show that Riemannian metrics can be defined globally starting from their local existence. A simple case is that of a bump function on the real line, that is, a smooth function f that takes the value 0 outside an interval a, b, and such that f x greater than 0 for a x b. 
Display style f x greater than zero quad text for quad are given a number of overlapping intervals on the line. Bump functions can be constructed on each of them, and on semi-infinite intervals, infinity c and d plus infinity to cover the whole line, such that the sum of the functions is always one. From what has just been said, partitions of unity don't apply to holomorphic functions, their different behavior relative to existence and analytic continuation is one of the roots of sheaf theory. In contrast, sheaves of smooth functions tend not to carry much topological information. Topic. Smooth functions on and between manifolds Given a smooth manifold M display style M dimension M with atlas U equals U alpha phi alpha alpha display style math frac U equals U underscore alpha phi underscore alpha underscore alpha then a map F M R display style F M to math BBR is smooth on M if for all P element of M display style P in M there exists a chart U Phi element of U P element of U display style exists U Phi in math frac U P in U such that the pullback of F display style F by Phi minus 1 display style Phi carrot minus 1 denoted Phi minus 1 f equals f phi minus 1 phi u r display style phi caret minus 1 caret asterisk f equals f circ phi caret minus 1 phi u 2 math b b r is smooth as a function from R M display style math b b r caret M to R display style math b b r in a neighborhood of phi p display style phi p all partial derivatives up to a given order are continuous. Note that smoothness can be checked with respect to any preferred chart about P in the atlas, since the smoothness requirements on the transition functions between charts ensure that if f is smooth about P in one chart it will be smooth about P in any other chart of the atlas. If instead f m n display style f m to n is a map from m display style m to an n dimensional manifold n display style n then f is smooth if for every p element of m there is a chart u phi display style u phi about p in m display style m and a chart v psi display style v psi about f p display style f p in n display style n with f u v display style f u subset v such that psi f phi minus 1 phi 
u psi v display style psi circ f circ phi caret minus 1 phi u 2 psi v is smooth as a function from room to rn Smooth maps between manifolds induce linear maps between tangent spaces for f m n display style f m to n at each point the push forward or differential maps tangent vectors at p to tangent vectors at f p f p t p m t f p n display style f underscore asterisk p t underscore p m to t underscore f p n and on the level of the tangent bundle the push forward is a vector bundle homomorphism f t m t n Display style f underscore asterisk trademark to t n. The dual to the push forward is the pullback, which pulls covectors on n. Display style n back to covectors on m. Display style m and k forms to k forms f omega k n. Omega K M display style f caret asterisk omega caret K N to omega caret K M. In this way, smooth functions between manifolds can transport local data, like vector fields and differential forms, from one manifold to another, or down to Euclidean space, where computations like integration are well understood. Preimages and pushforwards along smooth functions are, in general, not manifolds without additional assumptions. Preimages of regular points, that is, if the differential does not vanish on the preimage, are manifolds. This is the preimage theorem. Similarly, pushforwards along embeddings are manifolds. Topic: <laughs> Smooth functions between subsets of manifolds. There is a corresponding notion of smooth map for arbitrary subsets of manifolds. If f, x, y is a function whose domain and range are subsets of manifolds x, m and y, n respectively. f is said to be smooth if for all x in x there is an open set u, m with x element of u and a smooth function f, u, n such that f, p equals f, p for all p in u, x equals Topic. See also. Equals. Non-analytic smooth function. Quasi-analytic function. Spline. Smooth number number theory. Smoothing. Sinuosity.